hi family you welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be discussing with you myths or lies that have been trending ever since even since 1900 <laughs> in the natural hair community that really needs to be debunked and the last two is going to shock you please do well to watch to the end of the video so you don't miss out on all the myths especially the last two if you're new here Please do well to subscribe to my channel because in my channel I share uh, different healthy tips and tricks on how to grow a healthy natural hair and I also share a little bit of beauty and also feminine hygiene. So if you like to join the family, please do well to press the red subscription button and do not forget to press the bell button close to it so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So without further preambles, let's get started and let's debunk all the myths. So like I said, I'll be sharing with you our diff various myths and lies that have been shared or spread in the natural hair community. And the first on the list we are going to talk about is trimming. Yeah, I hear that trimming grows your hair. <laughs> like, like seriously, hold on. Where does our hair grow from exactly? Is it from the ends or from the scalp? Or the roots our hair grows from the scalp so it has nothing to do with what with the ends of our hair where do we trim is it not the ends we trim the ends so the only thing that trimming will help us do is that it will help reduce or take get rid of what split ends which could actually lead to hair breakage but it doesn't mean that trimming actually grows the hair like it's growing directly from the scalp no that is a very big myth or lie that needs to stop this 2020 trimming doesn't grow your hair number two on the list is that split ends can be repaired this is actually almost in correlation with the first point there are so many products today that claim to repair split ends that if you buy them, it's going to repair your, repair your split ends, you no longer have split ends and all that. All those things are marketing strategy. They are all lies. Yeah, they are all lies. The only thing that can actually solve split ends is what? Trimming your ends. Get those splits off by using a what? A hair share and trim them off. Never you fall for any marketing strategy or lies or any product that claims to do what they don't, where they are not meant for. It's all lies. So split ends can never, can never be repaired. Cut those ends through trimming. So the third point is that, is that adding heat to your hair is actually damaging to your hair that heat actually damage your hair i know i know i know we all have different thoughts on heat but it depends on how it is used if used properly then you are good to go why do i say this heat can be beneficial to our hair our hair burns at a degree of 451 fahrenheit or 233 degrees Celsius. So if you now use heat lesser than that amount, definitely your hair is not going to get damaged. Or better still, you get a heat protectant. Use a very good heat protectant and then you apply your heat and then you are good to go. So people telling you that using heat once in a while on your hair causes damage, is very bad. I don't agree to that. It is really not true. But bear in mind, caution should be taken. Don't go above 455 degree Fahrenheit or 233 degree Celsius. And also make sure you use a heat protectant before applying it on your hair. If you do that, queens, you are good to go. So the next point on the list, point four, is this. We are told to change our products more often. Some people will tell you, change your product more often because at a point it will stop working for you. That is a very big lie or myth. It is never true. 
when you start jumping from one product to another what you need to think of is this if i may ask when last did you clarify your hair your product might not be working because you have your hair you have accumulated a lot of build up that your hair per product no longer penetrates your hair strands so all you need to do is to do what clarify your hair get a very good clarifying shampoo and clarify your hair once you clarify your hair use that product again you find out that that product boom will start working for you so you don't need to start jumping from one product to another there is no point changing your product more often all you need to do is do what clarify your hair when last did you clarify your hair if i may ask if you are still watching and you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do well to press the red subscription button and do not forget to press the bell button beside it so you get notified whenever i post a new video and you don't miss out of any of my video so let's go now to the next point on the list this one <laughs> like they said the hair texture does not change like this is a very big lie okay let me ask this question or let's say this ever since you were born when you were born till now do you still have the same texture your baby hair texture and now is it still the same the answer is definitely no our hair texture actually changes with time that's true i'm not saying that your hair is going to change from 3a I'm not talking about the hair type that's going to change from 3A to your hair is going to change from 3A to 4B or 4C overnight. That is not what I'm talking about. That's not hair type. I'm talking about texture whereby we have the medium, we have the fine, and we have the thick. So your lifestyle can actually change your hair texture. Yes, our lifestyle. What we eat, stress, all these things actually do what changes our hair texture with time and even age as we age your hair texture begins to do what to change just like we're a baby the texture you have now is definitely not the texture you have have then also as we grow older the hair texture we have now we definitely or might not be the same texture we will have when we get older so that is another myth that we need to debunk and get rid of it this 2020 before moving to 2021 so the next on the list is what is that <laughs> plucking your gray hair will make three grow back like when you have grays you pluck it off that three will grow back like that as you're plucking it off three is growing growing and then everywhere becomes gray-headed wow that is never true what causes that is this when the pigment producing cells actually stop producing pigments that is when what your hair will start doing what graying it has nothing to do with picking your strands or picking off the gray that you've seen on your head or hair no it is actually the pigments it's been the pigment producing cells if it actually stop producing those pigments definitely our hair will start to do what to gray and that is why we have what we call premature what graying and that is why you need to up your iron level if you are iron deficient or deficient of iron please get yourself a very very good iron supplement that will also help reduce the extent of graying or premature graying in my next video i'll be telling you all how to reduce grain and sharing with you different recipes as time goes on so now the next two on the list like i told you all is actually going to shock you all the next one i want to say is this is that cold shock is that doing a cold shock actually makes your hair more moisturized and shiny some people might ask me like oh Mona what is a cold shock well a cold shock is actually what is actually using cold water as your final rinse 
Remember when we all started this natural hair community, we were told that after washing your hair, you have to use cold water to close your hair cuticles and blah, blah, blah. But that is not right. Why do I say this? Calm down, let me explain. Now, you've washed your hair, right? And then you have now closed your cuticles using cold water. Then, what are you now moisturizing? After closing the cuticles, you now come out and say you want to moisturize your hair, doing maybe the LOC or the um, LBO. It depends on the moisturizing technique that you use. What exactly will you moisturize? Are you going to be moisturizing a closed cuticle? Are you going to moisturize a closed cuticle? Then how does it make your hair leave most? How does it now leave your hair moisturized? How? How? It definitely will leave your hair both dry because whatever you apply, you are just applying it topically, and before you know it, your hair gets what dry. And that is why most of us always complain and still have issues with what with dryness because we are doing the what the cold shock. Yeah, I was on this table before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the table before, but never anymore. I have done what debunked those lies. So that is why I'm sharing it all with you. We need to drop all these myths and lies before we move to 2021. And then the last and last and last on the list is that grease. Oh, almighty grease. That grease is bad for your hair. Like seriously? Grease is not bad for your hair. Yeah, it actually coats your hair fine. But what matters is, are you using it in moderation? All you need to do is this. If you use grease, make sure you always clarify your hair. Use a clarify, clarifying shampoo constantly if you use grease. Using a clarifying shampoo, we, act, we take off all the build up, whatever build up you've accumulated during the week. Once you clarify, all the grease and everything is off your head of hair so it's off your strands so grease actually is even very very good for those who have for those who have high porosity hair yeah grease is good for you all you need to do is always clarify your hair so if anyone tells you that grease is bad for your hair that is a very big lie so if you don't want to use grease if you know you're not a fan of grease fine no problem you don't need to use it but if you use it always use a clarifying shampoo so guys that is all i want to share with all of you so are you ready to debunk all these lies before we got into 2020 2021 rather so it's left for you so so guys let me know your thoughts on this myth and if there is any other myth that you would like to share with me, please drop them in the comment section and let's all talk about this. Please let me know any other myths I didn't mention. Drop it in the comment section. And please do not forget to like my video, comment, and share this video with your friends and families. So that, Instagram, so that YouTube will actually push my video to other viewers. So thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye.